Let's just cover one element that I think we breeze through often when we open up a new document and we want to start some design or some work. We go to File, New, and then often just search through, you know, Photo, Web, and click here. Let's just take a pause on this and have a look around us and just get to understand what this all means. What we are seeing here is basically a preset of some sort. So if you click here, if you look here, you'll see that change. If I just keep an eye on this side, if I click there, that is changing. So things are changing here, but it's pretty much can be modified on all of these parameters here. So to best see it, there's, I'm just collapsing these. There's these one, two, three, four areas. Okay, expand them out again, and then we can have a look at them. And these parameters are what you can set. And here we pretty much have them under sort of headings so everything related to web and it's not exclusively that this is found in the web area it's just that if a preset is made we can comfortably find it in that area if you want to make any of your custom ones you're free to do so and i suggest that for example say you're doing something for a youtube banner um, you could start off with something like this this might be the dimension or not exactly the dimension this uxga but if you click on it, you'll see the dimensions come here. So if we run quickly down here, what it's saying is, is that's the name of it, UXGA. And that's the pixels, width, height, DPI. But here you could also set and modify this. But if you modify it here, it's going to just create it in this document. If you want to maintain that setting, then you can go and save it as a preset. So you could have a duplicate of this, but the actual document units are maybe different. Okay, um, the orientation. Yeah, if you want to create an artboard as you're creating the document, you can enable it there. So I'm going to use this as my starting off point and I'm going to create something unique. Okay, so what I'll do is you'll say that's the dimension, say the page width is going to be maybe 2800. Let's say that, that amount. Can you see immediately it changes to custom over there? Um, we'll leave everything there. I'm going to leave that orientation. I want to create an artboard with this preset that I'm doing. This for me is quite important. If you are creating this document and you want to create a link for images that you bring in, then you choose this by default. Yeah, I usually use the embedded because once it's embedded in the document, size might be slightly bigger, but when I use and create packages, I can take everything with the document embedded in the document so that's my choice so just make sure you uh, certain about this if you are linking it to outside uh, files make sure that those files are always available if you're moving it from a, one pc to the other okay and color space says what it says there i'm not going to go into detail with this uh, i'm more wanting just to explain this area on the left also so margins are just what appears on the page the bleed is how much uh, millimeters or pixels it's going off the page that's when you design work with color on and you want to just take it off the page and maybe usually have five millimeters so in, uh, let's just do this here we're going to go millimeters and we're going to say okay let's make this three millimeters all around okay so if you don't want it to automatically go you can take the uniform bleed off there and enter independently but these are the details that I want to use now. So if I click create, it's going to create a document with these settings. But if I come back later and I want to do the same, I've got to go through all of this. Or I could just click on this plus sign. And you notice here on top, all these titles, there's one that says my presets. If I click here, it's going to create a preset with all these settings. I go there, click. Can you see it's over there with all of these settings here? Then I can right click on that and let's rename that rt preset okay so now if i close this off and i'm going to make a new document and i want to do it again and we by default or yeah i can just go to my new presets click there well, let's just click here to change these buttons and you see the effect if i look at all the buttons if i click here they all adjust according to that preset so I'd say if you have standard formats that you have that you don't accommodate here, create your own presets and that's cool. But here's the next point that I want to cover here. If you have this preset but you want to put like a pre-design on it, 
Okay, how do you get to do that? And that's where templates come about. So I'm going to open this. I'm going to create this. Um, at the moment, if you go to templates, there's nothing in templates. Okay, so it's just saying add the folder. Add the folder where the template resides. So what we've got to do is I'm using this now as my layout, just as an example. So we're pulling that out. Say this is the design. So I'm going to just add some design elements here, maybe make a gradient over here. Okay. Okay, say so that that is our template layout and we've got a a font on top here that says uh, great template. Whoops. Okay. Well okay, instead of just giving it an arbitrary name like that. Let's just put it there and say this is going to be our header because we are creating a template. And yeah, maybe we're going to do some design work. So we're going to do something on that sort. Okay. What a full color. Wow, what a design. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to just select those bottom ones and then we can make sure we got them aligned nicely at the bottom. Okay. And let's just do a circle. Okay. The important thing is not to make it look like a design because then a lot of people will <laughs> probably look and criticize my, my poor design. But it's arbitrary it's just needing to be there that there's something that say this is say this was a u unique setup that we were using uh, all right let's do this uh, say this was a kind of a unique setup that we were doing yeah so this was now we've set out the preset that we use or we create our custom preset but now we're happy that this is going to be the layout that we're using for the whatever, you know. Hopefully it doesn't go into Facebook like this. <laughs> but anyhow, we've, we've got this layout and this design and probably will come in here every time. Maybe we will go, let's just make it bring here and just bring it all to the front. And oh, instead of that, we could possibly just put a text frame and put a text frame here. And say is for the text. Okay, I'm going to just pop this up to 200. Okay, so we're going to go there and make a text frame. So say this is our template that we want to use, and whenever we need to do whatever design work, this is the basis we're starting off. Uh, let me just make this say template one. Now what we do is we are going to go here and we are going to say export as template. Okay, so not just an export, we're exporting this as a template. So we're going to go and I'm just going to create a, a folder here. It's in my downloads, but let's say template maker. And I'm going to just do demo template okay so now I'm saving it as demo template in template maker under downloads now if I close off this document I don't have to save the documents I'm not working on it I already exported it as a template now if you're coming in you have to do a project for that particular template then we're going to say new and we go to templates you're going to see there's nothing here because we haven't told the template um, element over here what folder to look into so now we've got to first just add that folder and once we add the folder then whatever we put into it will appear there so it's downloads template maker that is the folder but I've got to make my first selection and see what happens select there you see it appears there okay so now I'm not going to create that I'm not going to take that and make it I'm going to just go make some um, second one let's go to make another one let's call this just that setting and we are going to just make some circles on here and 
Yeah, let's do some different colored circles. Okay. Say that's say that's our other template. We can do the same thing and we're going to go now if we export the template we just export it into that same folder where we have all our templates okay we could add another folder but i'm going to go in and there you see there i'm going to just say circle and then close this off and now when we go in there and we go say new document we can go under templates and there you'll see both of them there. So if I select this one and I say create, it starts off our design with that template already, which is cool. Okay, so hopefully you're going to make a template that <laughs> looks a million times better than this. But the concept is there. I think that you understand that we are designing a layout with things. We could put images in here, fonts, text, everything, and just access them when we're setting up. So. If you have a template that's designed for your YouTube channel and you just change a few modifications every time, then this is what you should do. Create a template, pull it in and do your modifications. Okay, hopefully that helps you. Be blessed and Shalom.